Women over the centuries have contributed to humanity in religion, politics, science, the economy, and society. Okay, stop right there, right off the bat. She said that women have contributed to society through various fields from politics to science and religion. So, we're starting off with the idea that women contribute to society in meaningful ways, not in just trivial ways, but science, religion, and politics are all meaningful ways of contributing to society. So, we'll start off in the first Elizabeth place. Blackwell made a stand in American history when she graduated from medical school. Cleopatra became queen of Egypt when she was only 17. And to the Okay. Day, she is known as a powerful politician. Since it's a weird picture of a girl's eyes. Ah. But, okay, yeah. Cleopatra was indeed, she was indeed in power. So what is that? I, I don't understand how these present points do anything but negate the future points. So for me, it doesn't really make sense why she's saying these women had power and these women contributed to society. If later on, she's just going to say that women have never been given an opportunity. So of time, women have been doubted frowned upon, and seen as dependent and weak. Women are fighting for equality. Oh god, this guy. Okay, when when they say that women are seen as weak, did, there can be different ways to perceive weak. Weak can be not very strong physically, where you actually would need, like, you know, a bodyguard or something, which is what the whole feminist movement is kind of trying to say. It's saying, you know, I'm a strong, independent woman, but at the same time, men are a huge threat to me, and I need safe places from them. This poor guy right here is probably just somebody who, and this is one thing I really can't stand about feminism. This poor guy, he's probably a really nice guy. He probably is doing this because he genuinely thinks that it's good, and he's not doing it to get laid. And that's, that's one huge problem, is it's like, feminists treat all men like, okay, either you're a rapist, and you're a misogynist who hates women, or you're a neckbeard, white knight, who lives in your mom's basement. So it's it's basically you can't win and this what this is why guys get so frustrated and people get so frustrated because you, you can't win. Either you're seen as a douchebag or you're seen as a dick. There's no in between. It's really hard to find an in between because if you try to be nice and you try to defend women, then they'll see you as a white knight. And if you try not to defend them and you say you're totally independent, I'm going to let you do your own thing, then you're seen as being misogynistic for some reason. Or if you tell, you know, a woman to do something like, you know, oh, you're not getting as much money as you think you should be getting. Well, why don't you get a different job? It's always, there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing. It's what's wrong with what everyone else is doing. And I hope this screen is not as bad as it seems like it may be. Um, saying it's not receiving enough video to maintain is amazing. Um, anyways, Everything on. that a man has, a woman should be able to do. Okay, yeah, I'm a girl, but I should still be treated as equal as a guy is. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're a girl. And it's... Have, has anybody ever heard a guy say, you know, I'm a guy, but I think I should be treated like a woman? It, it only comes down to... I'm, I'm a different gender, but I think that I should be treated as my gender, but all with all the added benefits of that other gender. And... Is this stream just too fucking horrible for anybody to watch? Because I keep on seeing people leave. Um, I don't want to keep you here if uh, this isn't what you want. But at the same time, I fucking I can't tell because I don't want to watch the stream and see how bad it is. I'm just going to keep going. Unfortunately, most of the population is against feminism due to what they've heard Ooh, about it. Ooh, that was it. a really fucking quick thing. Oh, is against feminism one. due to what they've heard about it. Yes. Unfortunately, feminism is a white middle class movement created by and for white. It was, it was created by and for white women. That's just the history of feminism. And so, if if you can't, not a lot of people like where their movements came from necessarily. Like Christianity came from Jesus being killed on a cross historically, according to scripture. So. People don't like that that is so negative, but at the same time, they've moved past it and tried to evolve it into a way that 
they, they accept that that's where it came from. People accept that certain things came from not necessarily great things. Like America. I mean, where the fuck do you think we got this land from? Moving on. So the population is against feminism due to what they've heard about it. Feminism was established to allow unattractive women easier access to the mainstream. I haven't actually heard somebody say it in those words, but I've heard people joke about feminism allowing ugly women to have a place to speak or something like that. And I think that there's actually something that I'm going to throw in here. Let me see if I can actually get this tab. Um, just going to copy and paste it. There's a video I've been wanting to make for uh, some time, and it's about... Oops, that's not the wrong thing. That's not the right thing. Why is my copy and paste not working anymore? Women over the centuries have contributed to humanity Check in religion, politics, science, the economy, and society. Okay. The GOP has a feminine space. There's a UCLA study that they did that found out that people who are, at least when it comes to political candidates, they are more likely to be unattractive and kind of manly looking. Uh, let's see here. Female politicians with stereotypical feminine facial features are more likely to be Republican than Democrat. The correlation increases the more conservative the lawmaker's voting record. And it's really interesting because I've said for a long time, at least when it comes to female politicians, assessing how much a face reflects gender norms may be one way of guessing political affiliations. I've been saying this for a long time, that when it comes to like feminists, I have like a sixth sense for it. I can tell if they're a feminist normally just by the way they dress, how they carry themselves, the first few things they say. It's, I mean, normally it's like, okay, if they have red lipstick, foreign, gr foreign rim glasses, they probably are. If they have bangs that are right here or right up here, they probably are. If their hair is dark colored and they're wearing a bright colored lipstick, they probably are. It's pretty easy to call these people out. It's like, well, some people gay are, I have a, well, I'm pretty good at telling who's gay and who's not, but I'm much better at telling who's a feminist and who's not. So yeah, unfortunately, there is a study that's been done that shows more towards politicians, but people in general are, you know, well, let's go ahead and move on from this. The problem is our media sensationalizes things. Trying to pass- mm -mm. No, it's not sensationalizing what's true. Let's try going inside and see what's moving around. Oh fuck. It helps this thing at all. Ah. <clears throat> Ooh, it's still buffering. They don't want me to speak the truth. They don't want me to tell you what's going on. I'm just going to go ahead and do my best. Looks like a Alex Jones person. I don't think this is in here. Let me do my feminine editor on this PC and see what is in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to switch from one computer to another. Okay. We'll get right back to where we were. Since the beginning of time, women have been doubted frowned upon and seen as dependent and weak. Women are fighting for equality, so everything that a man has, a woman should be able to do to him. Okay, yeah, I'm a girl, but I should still be treated as equal as a guy is. Unfortunately, most of the population is against <laughs> feminism due to what they've heard. The problem is, our media sensationalizes things. Again, it's, it's not sensational if it's true. Saying feminists hate men when I've, you know, shown several examples of just and these are feminists at university. These these aren't just, you know, fringe extremists. And that's the problem with all these moderates going, oh, no, they're not really feminists. Let them keep doing what they're doing. Trying to pass the most bizarre and extreme cases as a standard. I don't need feminism because I am not a victim. It's probably one of the best things in this video. Because that's a really, really good sentence there. That's a really good quote from whatever they're trying to quote. Feminism is for people who are victims. They're, it's for people who don't have a voice. People who can't speak up. And it comes from a barbaric past where basically, you know, women were treated as property. 
And we don't live in that kind of world anymore. We haven't lived in that world for a very, very long time. In fact, even going back to the even going back to the 50s and 40s, women still had a lot more influence than people would like to say they did. In fact, I was actually reading something recently that was talking about how how it's just absolutely just totally spaced on what I was talking about. Get back to the video before I ran on that too much. There. Okay. He made a very good point that the majority of feminists aren't doing it correctly, which is totally true. And what is her response? These false assumptions are proof. These false assumptions. So first off, she thinks that it's an assumption. An assumption means you, you really don't have anything you're basing it off of. You're assuming. This guy sounds like he knows what he's talking about, and I certainly have enough examples to make it so that it's not an assumption. Um, what else? The negative connotations associated with feminism, which are therefore leading to anti-feminism campaigns. It is undeniably clear how misguided too many people are about what being a feminist actually means. Okay. Um, oh, shit. I thought this thing was going to fix itself more. I wonder if I move this thing, if it'll move on the screen as well. No? Well, how the fuck do I make this thing fit properly? Oh! Let's try this. Um, reset size? No. Um. Ha ha! Fixed it. Okay. Let's get back to the video. Being a feminist doesn't mean... All right, I don't know how much of that that uh, you guys were able to see, so let's just, let me see if I can get back to this fucking thing, to the end of it. Has it not been... This fucking thing. My, like, thought on feminism Girls aren't afraid to do what they want to do, and they don't let anyone tell <sighs> Um, I don't know if it's still working. I'm trying to, like, view the stream myself just to see. Okay, it is, it is. So let's, let's go back to what she said here in the very beginning. My, like, thought on feminism is just confidence. Girls aren't afraid to do what confidence. they want to do. Confidence. Yes. That is that is very true. And they don't let women and STEM fields. It's just insane. It, it's this this totally inability, this total inability to to have self awareness and realize that you're a huge part of the problem. Going to school for gender studies, which is a fucking useless degree, because they teach you mostly misinformation and lies. But on top of that. What the fuck are you going to do in the United States or Canada? Unless you go overseas, which I would love to meet some feminists who actually do real work overseas and talk to them about what they think about the ridiculousness of these fucking children. It's because of their gender. So, why do we need feminism today? This is a question I've been wanting to hear the answer to for a long time. Let's see what her answer is. The woman only makes 78... No. Sense to every dollar that the man makes. The man. I love how childish this is. Like, yeah, this is somebody who's doing this for their. By the way, uh, let me see if I can fix the. Uh, let me see if I can fix the size of the screen because I don't know why it's that fucking tiny. Is there a way for me to? Pip it up it up. Position size. Oops. No. Nope. Sorry, people. Just trying to resize this window so it doesn't look so fucking small. There we go. The pay 
pay gap is even larger than dealing with women of color. There is no pay gap. For those of you who are totally new to the myth of the pay gap, they found, they basically originally started this whole myth by somebody comparing the average wage of basically all males and all females, which means they compared, you know, an electrician and an engineer with a teacher and a nurse. So, of course, they're going to have different outcomes. They also didn't account for who had been married, who had left time to raise kids, how many hours they have, whether they were part and full time, what kind of experience they had, etc. So, the problem with the pay gap is many. But the basic problem with the pay gap is that if you can, they, is that if you compare men's choices and women's choices for careers, men choose. Uh, I think I recently was doing some um, research on this with Tom Martin, and I think that the thing I got out was nine out of the top ten highest-paying fields are completely occupied by men, or the majority are occupied by men, and out of the least-paying fields. And these are fields that people choose for college. These aren't like um, these aren't like women get stuck with these jobs. These are the highest earning. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said job. The highest earning degrees. Men go for the top ten. Women go for the bottom ten. And that's the reason. Like I said earlier about the the women's studies major going. I'm not earning enough money, and I know why. It's because the patriarchy. That's what my professor told me. It's that kind of bullshit. Don't exactly have all the rights that men have today. Women living in developing countries still don't have the basic right to education. This is another problem. Instead of saying people in the Western, people in the developing world, people, it's always women. It's not because boys are the ones who are always working in fields and stuff. The more likely people to get an education are women because they need the men to work. And so men often are more illiterate in certain parts of the world, which he says that more women are poor and such than men, which I don't believe for a fucking second. But I think a lot of women have put themselves in that position with pregnancy and such, but that's a totally different topic for a totally different time. And help threats like female gender mutilation still live. Yeah, and uh, in the United States, the country that you're talking from, and probably at the school you're speaking about, I, well, it depends on where the school is in the country, but I can almost guarantee that probably half of the children at that school that are males were circumcised as children. So the audacity of you to talk about these kinds of issues when they're going on at your school with the opposite gender that you're claiming are just, it's this kind of just out of touchness with reality that... I just, I don't get, I don't get that. It's painfully evident that the global struggle for women's right isn't over yet. It's, it's very obvious that women have it a lot better than men do and have for a long time, but. I grew up with the perspective that women were less valued than men were. It's not that I thought that way, it's just the influences that I had. It gave me a new, a whole new perspective on women and how I should treat them. Okay, so it sounds like this poor kid was probably raised in a dysfunctional home where maybe his father was an abusive alcoholic or maybe it was even his mother. I know a lot of women who will raise their children to believe that other women are horrible people for some reason. Um, something bad that happened to them, how their mother treated them. Um, but regardless of the reason, this poor person was raised in a home that didn't give him that feeling. And don't see how that's relevant. Uh, the two aren't correlated, but let's go ahead and continue. Women make up two-thirds of illiterate people of the world, as well as 60% of the poor. We still live in a... Okay. I would like to see statistics for that. In fact, I, I'm just going to go ahead and not even believe that. Because I do not believe for one second that uh, if I wasn't using a tiny little handheld keyboard, I would do a lot more research into this stuff. But right now, I'm just kind of doing this for shits and giggles. Rape culture. Many rape victims are blamed for their own assaults because instead of teaching men not to rape, we tell... Okay. When you say they're blamed for it, sometimes it is the victim's fault. 
for instance, if you leave your door wide open at your house and somebody goes in and steals your shit while you're gone, yes, people shouldn't steal. People shouldn't go in people's houses because they know it's wrong. But at the same time, you made an opportunity for somebody to do something like that. So is it your fault? Not necessarily, but at the same time, you could have done things to prevent it from happening. So it's not blaming someone to educate them on what they did incorrectly in the situation. Of women not to get raped. Yeah, because um, that whole teaching people not to rob things going over real well. Yes, we need feminism today because there's still a lot of people that don't understand it. Of course, it's still. Yeah, like me, I don't really get it, but somebody told me to sit in front of this camera and talk about feminism, so I'm gonna sit in front of this camera and like look around the room because I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be saying. We'll need it, and we still have a road to travel down. It's still a long way, but honestly, I think we're on the right track. Until women everywhere are granted equal political, economical, and social rights, feminism. Economical, social. Is needed. No. As long as people are not equal across the world. The fight for equality isn't over yet. And the next step could be taken by me or Whoa. you. So the next step, and is that making more videos that are just going to make people less enthusiastic about your... I mean, 20, 32 downvotes and 5 upvotes. So let's just go to this girl's... Uh, channel dear god of sex this is what um one of the people was telling me the person who actually introduced this to me i believe uh was it trent yeah let's go ahead and see what this one is dear god of sex why can't you distribute the drive equally men get 80 percent it seems like most females are barely able to hang on to the 20 percent they're given Okay. Did you ever stop to think about the girl who is confident enough to wear that little black dress, but too timid to say no because she is trapped in a corner of fear that someone might hear her? Whoa. Okay. I'm not sure. This is. <laughs> I already. I already have an idea. This is gonna go to a weird place. Okay. So. If she's okay. You said you're from a Mormon state. Um. That's what the. For people in the future, they're not going to see the comments and stuff, so I, I don't know. Regardless, um, Mormon state. I'm guessing she's Mormon? Christian? Um, whatever. So she's talking to God here, and she's saying that they're afraid somebody would hear if they want to wear a black dress. Because men like sluts. I mean, I don't... Or did you think about it? but just decided you didn't care enough to fix it because your own silhouette is made up of those nasty phrases like come on baby, I know you love it wait, 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 are we still talking about God here? uh, come on baby, I know you'll love it like, is this, okay, let's start over because I feel like, like, within the first 15 seconds I had no idea how she got from where she started to where she went dear God of sex why can't you distribute the drive equally? Men get 80%, and it seems like most females are barely able to hang on to the 20% they're given. Okay, so far, I, I totally agree with her. It seems like women who use their sex drive use it usually as a weapon or as a reward tool instead of as a kind of just natural, enjoyable thing. It seems to be used more as a tool or a weapon than as just a recreational hobby, as I deem it. Uh, that's actually a really good question. I'm going to just stop for a second because uh, Josh just asked, uh, how come they always be like, we need these things because women in other countries suffer? It's because when you are when you don't have anything to complain about and you want to use your victimhood or your gender to make your point, you find other people who are living it for you. You know, As somebody myself who's been raped, who's been homeless who's been, you know, who has PTSD. I was in the military. That's not where I got the PTSD. Um, and I've been viciously attacked. As somebody who's experienced a lot of those things, I I would be really frustrated and infuriated with somebody who called themselves a men's rights activist. Who there? Let's 
seems to be working. Not sure what just happened there. Um, so let's go ahead and get back into the video. Did you ever stop to think about the girl who is confident enough to wear that little black dress, but too timid to say no because she is trapped in a corner of fear that someone might hear her? That little black dress, but too timid to say no because she is trapped in... Too... tombed? To what? To wear that little black dress, but too timid to say no because... Too tombed. Am I hearing this wrong? I don't know. Okay, let's see she here. She is trapped in a corner of fear that someone might hear her. Or did you think about it? But just decided you didn't care enough to fix it because your own silhouette is made up of those nasty phrases like, Come on, baby. I know you love it. Okay, again, I don't know how we got from God to your phrases, I know you'll love a baby. Let me just tell you that it is no walk in the park to leave my house during the summertime. Yes, they warn us, but no amount of words could save us from the dangers lurking in the streets. The saddest part is... What is she talking about? We're still not accepted by our own species. We, as women, like looking good for ourselves. We don't... Do they refuse to admit it? Oh, is this shit still not... Ah, shit. I don't think this is working anymore. Somebody could tell me if it is. Is this still working? Can you guys still see it? Because it doesn't look like it's still working to me. That's just me, though. Um, settings? No. Okay, this is not freaking showing up for me. Is it showing up for you folks? Because it's not showing up on this screen. Come on, what the fuck? <laughs> this has been like one huge disappointment of a stream, and I'm so sorry. Like when before I streamed, the wind, the speeds were like shoulder to shoulder, but no one could see who they're dancing with because the air as woman like. Okay, I just want to say that if you guys know this girl, um, which you're saying you do, please, please give her my email address, my contact information. I'm happy to give it to you. And just say, hey, there's a guy who calls himself an anti feminist and he would like to debate you. I would love to uh, be able to speak to her, set up a debate, and see if I can just go ahead and expose what she's trying to say. Because usually, these are people who aren't ever cornered. And somebody as young as herself is kind of just preaching what she's been heard. Uh, I wouldn't even be shocked if she didn't believe it once she's confronted with how incorrect it all is. Or she's one of those people who's kind of been like this her whole life, and she's always looked for a reason to be a victim, and now she's found that reason, and so for her, it's like, I just found a gold mine! So, yeah. Oh, God, yeah, I would love to, yeah, I would love to speak to somebody on a debate team. I didn't even know about those when I was in school, and if I would have known about those, oh, I would have had so much fun, because I love debating. Anyways, let's let's go on to this the rest of this video. I, I really want to see how like how tenuous she makes the the strains connecting one argument to another. Looking good for ourselves. We don't wear heels to try to arouse some testosterone. Yeah, you do. No. We wear no. Heels we feel no. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Some of us, they're the only reminder that we were beautiful long before any male ever pointed it out, and we will be long. After they refuse to admit it. I love that that line, refuse to admit it. As if when you're saggy and old, you're still objectively beautiful. No, uh, even subjectively, that's very, very hard to argue. Women age like milk, and men age like fine wine. Uh, unfortunately, when you look at somebody like George Clooney or Brad Pitt, or you know, you could pretty much name almost any actor that's in their 50s, 40s, 60s. And even 70s, um, they look damn good. 
As for women, they hit the wall around 30-something and don't often look good after that. Now, I'm not saying that's not, you know, that's true 100% of the time. People like Jennifer Aniston look fucking smoking hot still. So it's obviously not the case, but a lot of women do not take care of themselves later on down the road. And fortunately for men, it, we're kind of just lucky in the fact that we don't have to take as much care of ourselves. Personally, I'd rather have a girl who is lower maintenance, didn't have to worry about her own makeup and all that shit. Because this girl, I mean, one thing she's definitely got going for is some DSL. I mean, those, and she's in high school, so I feel horrible saying that, but she's definitely well on her way to being just like Anita Sarkeesian, because she's got those jagged eyebrows and huge lips. She's, she's the next Anita Sarkeesian. She is the next Anita. Hear me out. Do you call it sex? No. Do you need an example? There's a girl standing by herself, but she's not alone. In fact... Okay, there's a girl standing by herself, but she's not alone. Okay, so far so good. The entire room is crowded, shoulder to shoulder, but no one can see who they're dancing with, because the air is polluted with a variety of smokes. And if it weren't for the family portraits hanging on the wall, no one would be able to tell that this was a home. Oh, is she talking about a house party? She's trying to be deep and profound, and in doing so, she's coming off as incredibly vapid and stupid. I don't have to describe this to you. Oh, <laughs> let me paint a picture for you. Two sentences later, I don't need to paint a picture for you. You were there. Foreign hands roam her waist as she's pulled back into the corner. The music is roaring, but all she can hear is his heartbeat. The alcohol on his lips probably matched her own, but she knows better than to believe that Jack Daniel's honey whiskey is the ideal thing to have in common with someone. Okay, so... Man, this is just, like, it's hard to watch because she's trying so hard to, like, come off as worldly and she's coming off not even as verbose because she's not even using, you know, extensive vocabulary. She's kind of just trying to use a lot of, uh, what is the word for it? Um, God, there's a fucking word for being extremely descriptive just to paint a picture. Um... I'm way too out of it to remember. Unforgettable chills awake every nerve cell in her body as his hot breath pierces the metal through her ears. Hold, hold on a second. I think I misheard that. As his hot breath pierces the metal through her ears. As his hot breath pierces the metal through her ears. Is... Is that is is this a tattoo parlor and she's getting pierced I'm I'm thoroughly lost at this point what's a pretty young thing like you doing at a party like this he didn't wait for a response instead you and he grab her wrist and pull her into the dark room she tried to say no over and over again but his mouth caught her pleads for help and you made sure that no one heard her oh, okay um, what is she, <clears throat> what is she talking about? So, is this just an imaginary, I mean, I know it is, but it's just, if you're going to create a straw man argument, like, at least there are realist, real cases about this kind of thing happening to people. I don't know why she didn't just try to, like, write a creative narrative about one that already exists instead of just creating her own fictitious one. That makes it sound like this is even more of a laughable joke than it actually already is. Because from what the numbers that are saying that are coming out, it seems like there's a hell of a lot more, at least on campus, there's a hell of a lot more accusations that are being found out to be false than there are accusations found out to be true. Because one of the problems with a lot of people's claims is they've felt like they've had immunity for so long that... You can pretty much just say whatever you want about whoever, and there's no repercussions if you're telling the truth or if you're lying. Oh, I'm sorry. If you're telling the truth, the person will get arrested. And if they're not arrested, their life will definitely be ruined. But, again, different conversation for a different time. Why were you helping him? 
Look, I know this is what you do, but don't you think it's time to take that jar of voice boxes you've gathered up over the years and drop it to let your victim speak up? Dear God of Sex, do you ever stop to think about the aftermath? The girl is 16 now. Too young to happily have a baby, but too old for her cries of rape to be taken seriously. She tried to- Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, and unless I'm hearing this incorrectly, she's saying that her claims would be taken more seriously if she was older. I mean, I understand that if you're a kid, people sometimes question it, even though I personally think if you have knowledge about that kind of stuff, it's very questionable as to how, if you're really young, you could even get access to information like that. So it's usually good to believe a child, but you're an adult. Like, you could get in a car, you could call the police, you can fill out a report. There's, there's nobody. I would go to the police station with you because I promise you, if, if you went, I'd just love to go with one of these women who's like, every time a woman reports a rape, she's laughed at. I would love to be able to go with one of those women to make a claim. Just to be there, you know, for support if she honestly believes that that's kind of, you know, how things actually work in the real world. So, let's, let's go on. Tell your sister about the demon you planted inside of her, but according to that piece of wisdom, that's what she gets for being a whore. Um, no. Um, doesn't mean she's... It's like... Uh, this woman just doesn't seem like she's capable of critical thinking. And I think that that's one of the biggest problems with feminism is the fact that it's a lot easier to have these kind of. Um, she asked her mother to take. It's a lot easier to have these rash ideas and these insane, conflated theories about things than it is to actually look back and objectively think about what's going on with the world and why it's so messed up. That land where the happy little pearls are sleeping. She had to shove it off as just a joke as soon as she heard her mother say the word murder. Now, she's not a victim. Instead, she's a murderous whore who's going to hell. All because of you and that little black dress. Okay, so is she saying that people shouldn't wear a dress? Is that kind of like the end message there? Is that like... Oh, if you wear a dress, then, you know, you kind of... Is she saying people deserve it? I, I, can't, I can't tell, like, what she's doing at this point. Oh, God. This is just... This is just turning into, uh... <laughs> a shit fest. Um, how do I... Just out of curiosity, I'm trying to install this, uh this app for um, YouTube live see if I can like see my own stream so I can talk oh here we go um, how do I there we go and I can hear myself the comment section on the video after okay comment section I'm talking about cigarettes? Acetone. Found the nail polish remover. My dad. You won't find him around kids, nor in the local prison anymore. Actually, don't bother looking for him. I've been searching okay. for 10 years, and trust me when I say that it's a waste of time. Acetic acid. An ingredient found in hair dye. My mother's a cosmetologist. And a receptionist. I am basically a part-time maid. And she also trains police officers. Okay. If her mother is a cosmetologist, then that explains a lot. And if you guys haven't heard this before, um, cosmetologists and people who, like, cut hair, they are usually the most insane fucking people because they love drama. They live for drama. Now, I'm not saying all of them. But I am saying that everyone I've met are fucking insane. So that 
the fact that she comes from somebody who does that doesn't really surprise me. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to spend some time on uh, fucking shit. Okay, um, <sighs> it doesn't look like it's going to let me do this again. Dear God of Sex, why can't you distribute the drive equally? Men get 80% and it seems like most females are barely able to hang on to the 20% they are given. I don't want to listen to you but talk anymore. The girl who is confident enough to wear that little... No, shut your mouth. Okay, um, what else? What else do we have here? The other thing that was going on that I wanted to talk about was, um, shit, I do not even, <laughs> why is she in the dark? <laughs> because the light scares her. <laughs> so this chick right here, um, your like to dislike ratio looks a little like the non-existent pay gap. It's a shame because the video talks about made up things that have dis been disproved multiple times like rape culture and wage gap a group of feminists disproved actually it doesn't look like she commented at all yeah it looks kind of just so just out of curiosity is uh is this like for a project at school or something like what is this chick even I don't get why. Oh, we're not doing Davo Brigades. Sorry, I'm going to have to remove that. As much as I agree with downvoting the video, I don't want anybody to promote downvoting brigades. Uh, this has got to be for school or something. And what context did they show it to you all?